Hello everybody, how is it going? And welcome back to another episode of Goblin Stone, the turn-based tactical roguelite RPG where we are actually trying a new class today. We have the Bandit unlocked and when we take a look at our empty chamber here, we can actually build, technically build a Bandit's Guild if we have the Fiber for it. We are missing 7 Fiber. We also don't have an Acolyte's Guild yet. So, man, we are bottlenecked hard, like really hard into not being able to build all of these things. Quick check here. Strong legion for many. It takes wood. It takes wood to upgrade the barracks. Oh man, I want to. I want to, but I can't. Uh, can we? Can we actually, buy, by the way, get the armory upgraded? No, we need 40 ore. Okay. 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 So the thing is, we have a bandit, and I am very much willing to take a look at this guy today. But beforehand, we'll take a look at these fools. Who are you? Uh, you have pretty bad stat lines. Are there Only any the interesting eager, traits well that you bring to the table? You're a skeptic, you're a nun, ferocious. Ferocious Lucky is pretty cool. Plus three power and crit bonus? That's really good for a raider, man. I like that. Your stat line is also not bad. I'm gonna take you for breeding. That's good. Did he join? Oh, wait. Oh, the barracks are full. Eh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. So we're gonna kick some people out here. Um, shall we retire some people? That is my question that I have right now. Let's quickly take a look. Is there anybody with an exceptionally bad stat line? Heal Boomer is not the greatest, but he's also not too bad. He's fine. Yeah, man. All of these guys are pretty good. You have amazing stats. Um, here's the thing. You are 777, but I really don't like your traits. Ferocious and fit. That's pretty good, man. Oh boy, oh boy. What are we doing with you? You are completely empty. I think... Uh, what are you? Bleed resistance? I think what we can do is we can get rid of you, my friend. And we're gonna optimize our, our breeding pool a little bit. So it was Lear turn, all right? No? Half hacker? No. Flop forger? Ferocious lucky? Ferocious lucky is actually pretty good. Okay, we're gonna try a thing now. Let's see if that is actually possible. Let's go to the warrens and uh, go ahead and breed. So where is the new guy? Flabby spirited beast avert? Hard headed. Where's the new guy? Up top? No. Nope. Newest. There you are. Ferocious, lucky, amazing. And now we want the guy that has the 777 stat line. And I kind of hope that we are getting lucky. Yeah, this seems good. Let's go ahead and breathe. Let's see what's coming. <laughs> it's actually quite good to, again, diversify our gene pool a little bit. So that we are not inbreeding. Okay, so you're kind of bad. Yeah, pretty much. You got the Ruthless ability and the Lucky ability. Eh, I don't really care. Yeah, that's what I thought. 747, Ferocious Beast of Earth. All of these are kind of meh. Now to live a life of their own. I think you gotta get really lucky to get something uh, with a good trait and a prosper. bad stat line and somebody with a good stat line and bad traits to match the perfect thing. But hey, we are, we're fine. I mean, breed every, every day and eventually you will get the things you want. Now, um, one more check on the merchant. I want to know if there's anything that we want to buy or maybe sell, but I think we're good on that end already. 20 life per kill. I don't really think that's better than what we got. It's five life per attack and this one is also one more power. Yeah, looking good. It's 13 power spear. A 12 power spear and 30% speed is way better than this, so let's get rid of that. 13 power wooden club. This bone can go. Wait. Oh, it's on our... Oh, wait. This is on our, our new guy, on the bandit. What do we have here? Um, We have a better one, so get rid of the bone. Absolutely. Is there another thing that we can go for? Yes. We can also give him the slash ability. Cool. But I think the wooden club is better for a bludgeon attack with a knockback chance. All right. Just okay, what's just tidying up a little bit, and I would say we're gonna go in. Let's do it. The question is, who do we get rid of? I do like the double hunter situation. Gotta tell you, that's pretty good. You have dark power. Twice. 
You also have dark power twice? These guys are too good to swap out. I think if anything, I want to get rid of my Acolyte, but he also has dark power already. We have a problem. We are suffering from our own success. <laughs> oh man, I mean, it's just it's just a test run, right? So let's go ahead and... Uh, that's 24 power and 18 crit. Yeah, Peep Barker is worse. All right then, where, where's my where's my new guy? Where's the bandit? Slap Molter, let's go. So, um, the skill set of this guy is Ferocious Cleave, um, Dirt Face, Scold, and Battle Cry. So I think he should be a little bit more upfront, using his Battle Cry and giving more damage to the follow up. I don't know. I don't know. I guess we're gonna figure it out on the battlefield. Get the club. It's not the most exciting one, but it's 13 power, and you know what? This guy's pretty good. What's the bandit bonus? Every one body gain a life. So, like, just raw max life? Raw max life? Is that what it is? You are hard-headed for stun resistance. Gourmand can eat unlimited amount of food. Don't really care about that. I think it's fine if we drop the spirit, because we will never get to 7, so go skeptic, get a bit more crit. That's nice. Beast Avert gives me more damage versus beasts, but... Would bring me in the back. I don't think I like it. No. We're gonna stay with Hard-Headed. Alright then. Let's test the new class and see how this is going. We're gonna go into the Hinterlands, and I think what we want to do is... <sighs> I wanna get wood. <laughs> I wanna get wood so bad. No, wait, actually we need fiber. Could get fi Oh, this is guaranteed fiber. But I also want to progress the storyline. Let's go with that. Alrighty. Let's do it! <laughs> so we're on a scouting mission, which is actually a nice test run for our new friend here. Should be good. <sighs> Alright, here we go. Snail's Gift. Each party member's attack has a 20% chance to inflict. Slow. I like it. Let's go. Ooh, it's a, it's a bad shrine. Let's take it. Let's take it. Permanent upgrade. And I think I'm actually give, I'm gonna give it to the Raider. No. Raider? Bandit. Bandit is the new name. Alright. Temporary bonuses. Let's go. Oh. Oh, two baubles and a fork. 13 power, 20% chance to stun. We have something better on you, right? Yeah, with the speed up, I think it's pretty good. I like it. We also got a plus five power and a 20% chance to slow. Don't mind if I do. Put the power on... Uh, I'd say... Oh, power? Power on the hunter. Absolutely. The 20% chance to slow. I guess it's Slap Molter. Let's try it out. He has some abilities that are not affecting uh, the battlefield in an offensive way. You know, we have some support abilities, so he will not always be attacking. So that bonus to slow, or uh, the bonus to the attack, I knew it, uh, is not always given, right? But hey, let's take a look. Ow. Stop it. All right, here we go. We have the bludgeon ability, 82, 100% chance uh, of our power and damage and a 30% chance for a knockback. We have Scold, give an ally fury, which is a 50% bonus to its damage. Hmm? Not bad. And the battle cry, all allies gain 25% of your weapon's power, okay, until the end of their turn. Three, oh, it's three, right? That's three extra damage. But that's for everybody. Sure. Let's try this. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> Alright, that's pretty cool. That is not so cool. Where's my tank? Why is he so... Oh, because he got surprised. That's why. So, 11 damage on the wakey wakey is quite cool. We should probably make use of that right now. <laughs> And we got the slow. Really nice. Beast Bane Arrow. 38 damage? Uh -huh. 
We're gonna put it where it counts and we got a crit with an instant kill. Oh my god. We get a swift mend. I like it. Who needs it? You, my friend. Oh boy. Oh boy. Was hoping for a crit there, but we didn't get it. Ah, yeah, let's go with a rattle because it deals quite a good chunk of damage. And now he has a stun and a slow, so that's gonna be it. Seven damage to all or just get the kill? I don't want my raider to bleed anymore. Summoning mm. The surprise attack is quite nasty. It takes a good chunk of our health away. Luckily, we got some food. Schmonk. And... Don't think it's worth... Healing five. We're gonna keep the f uh, the meat this for later. You know what? Gift. It says the weapon's power, right? Not his own power. But I'm willing to take it. Did we double chance? Yeah, power. Oh, 28%. I'm not gonna do it. We're gonna leave the shrine. It's my only raider that I have currently, so keep him there. We're gonna keep him. This is a test run, and I think it would be besides the point if we just destroy that guy in the the first possible moment. Ha! Let's go! Draw your weapons! Who needs guarding? You? Alright. So, here's he Oh, Heal Boomer is swapping because of his speed up. Interesting. Alright. How do we do it? You got so much damage! Devious shot deals 23. Why? Oh, because you, you got the plus 5 power, that's why. Alright, let's go for a thrust. Double chance for a crit here. 28 damage over the board. We've got Ferocious Cleave. Deal 50% of your damage to the front two foes and gain fury. This is a one turn thing. Huh. I wanna do it. <clears throat> do like the cleave here. Healing prayer. I don't think we're gonna be long enough in this one. Alright, so we're gonna shield you, my friend, because you will also get attacked twice. That's the one. Blocked. And that's the second one. Never mind. It's a power up. Okay, then. Um, you are very bleed resistant, so I think I'm gonna go with the sudden strike. You can stay on the front line a bit more. You are shielded right now. Oh, Soul Gale. If that thing crits, or let's say Pestilence, then we have the backliners down. Didn't get it. <laughs> more power up. Shuffle. Pretty happy about that, but... Oh, can we kill? We cannot kill. Uh oh. Right, we go for a slash for maybe a crit and we get it. Perfect. Oh, that's what we needed. Okay, 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 okay. With a swift mend, we can kill one of the backliners, which is probably a good idea. It's probably better than... Yeah. Probably better than healing right now. Preventing damage by destroying enemies. It's just good. Intercept and guard. Yeah. Let's do it. Intercept you, my friend. Okay. Still 8 damage through the armor. Crazy. Ha! Huh. And I just realized our uh, our fury is probably not gonna come through, right? Let's see. Definitely the thrust attack. A vital blow. Can we get another heal out? I would love to. Healing prayer. Yeah, it's too slow. Let's go for a kill. So, the fury is something that we should probably think about when uh, playing longer fights. Alright, here we go. Was there something? No. Okay. So, we can either go for Nasty Shrine or Guru. Um, let's go for Nasty Shrine. Again? Can we even do that? I don't think we have the... I don't think we have the, the chances anymore. <laughs> Everybody was touched by corruption already. Uh, plus one power. You maybe? Uh, see that? That's a problem. I don't need power on you. 39. You? Okay. I think I'd be fine if I lose the goblin, so I'm gonna go for another power up. 
Here is power. 39% chance. Not. No. No. No, this is good. This is good enough. Okay. Back of goodies. Oh, and we got... No, it's not a shop. It's the guru. Never mind. Hone their skills, for they will be tested. All right. I want to see what the bandit upgrades are. Uh, what's that? Just more damage? Oh, the poison. The poison in it all. It does not matter. Yeah. It just doesn't matter. It's a scouting mission. We have no tough battles ahead. It's fine. Uh, armor up, whatever. An improvement. We didn't get anything from the bandit. Eh. Uh, fine. Practice makes the warrior. Thank you, Guru. So we got a slimy boy. Hello. Ambush. Let's go. Oh, a slimy boy and a centipede. And these are bigger. These are not the small ones. Like the super small ones. Weird. Um, yeah. I think Life Hunter is not in a good spot right now, so we're gonna try to keep him alive. Beast Bane Arrow. Why not? Schmonk. 15 health left. Okay, so we have the the Dirt Face ability. Deal 10% of your power and inflict knockback. Guaranteed knockback. And we can throw dirt on anybody. That's cool. That's really nice. A battle cry on everybody seems also very viable. Let's go with it. I like it. Yeah! Power up. Purify, Sacred Shield. And we have a little bit of poison. It's not really needed. It's an easy fight. Let's get out of here quickly. Let's go. We have the power up. Make use of it. Let's do it. It's only for one round, correct? Yeah, one activation. Split! Okay. And again. Ah, ah. Healing Chant is coming up, so that's good. Let's go for the centipede. Absolutely. We started it, so let's finish. I'm here for the heal. It's three damage. Oh, and I wanted to save some poison as well, but that is not true. Thrust kills both of the little slime links, by the way. <laughs> nice. And we technically had a slow, but that that, that didn't come in. Um, let's go for a gourd. Okay. Dirt face or ferocious cleave. Dirt face is faster. So wait, if I push him back even further, is he gonna get tired again? Excellent strike. <laughs> no, but he's so slow. Ah, that's cool. That is a great combo. The knockback with a combination of slow is really good. We got to keep that in mind. Do we want a swift mend? Uh, I guess, yeah. Why not? Why the hell not? But we also need to think about our offense a little bit more. Healing prayer, bludgeon. Let's go bludgeon. Okay. Wakey wakey for the slowed guy, that's a kill, right? Exceptional skill. Yeah. Amazing. Cool. So, now our goal is to just go for the kill, no matter what. I'm even using... <laughs> no, don't split. I wanted to say I'm even using my tank for some damage. No crit. So this guy literally has one health. Let's go for the ferocious cleave. Nice. I don't know what I have to what I, what I think of the bandit yet. The bandit seems okay. I think we need a gill to see what else he can do. Like buffing people and things it's kind of nice, but I think like a, a direct impact might be better. Okay. Got the radar. Alright, here we go. 
Beastbane arrow, dunk trap. It's definitely a dunk trap. 29 damage coming out of that. Amazing. This is a longer fight, right? So we could go for the cleave. Get the trap triggered. Maybe. <clears throat> snap. No snap. Okay. Purify, swift man, bludgeon. I'm actually here for the trap trigger. Let's go. <clears throat> Amazing. Part of me wanted to get the guy down before he could actually take a turn. Wait, we didn't guard twice? Oh, we didn't guard twice because he's stunned. Interesting. Soul Gale will kill. I like it. First foe is slain. The first foe is slain. Bonk. <laughs> oh, this is getting dicey. No, no. Don't kill my raider. I need that thing. That thing, the guy. Ugh. Huh. Let's go dunk trap. We need to trigger that thing now. That kills two of them. Or I could swift mend. We still have... Oh god. Mm, let's get lucky. Trap fail. Let's get luckier. That's bad. I needed a trap to trigger so that the second adventurer is not doing anything. But I guess it's fine now. Let's go and intercept these fools. Yeah, okay. Phew, we also got him slowed. Nice. Give an ally fury. Alright. Pretty good on a damage dealer. Wait, your fury is gone now. Oh. Oh. <laughs> 50, 56 damage on the devious shot. No way. It's crazy, dude. It's crazy. Wow. Alright. So we don't need any of this. We don't even have to take a look at it because it's gonna go away. All of this is temporary. So <laughs> let's go and get out of here. It's a scouting mission. Oh my god. That felt strong. Okay, so we can make these like big overkill turns happen if we combine these abilities. The lands are chartered. How much was the... It's what, uh, one tick, right? To give another ally fury? I can see that. I can totally see that. Alright, cool. Wait, did we get another weapon? A new day dawns. A new day dawns. Okay. Oh yeah. Lada is full as per usual. Um. Cannot upgrade still? No, we didn't find the ore. Okay. Anyways. Um. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna sell some things on the merchant real quick. Okay. We got this and this. And that is about it that we want to trade here. Actually, let's get the... Let's get the ore, the minerals. Okay, we need just a little bit more to upgrade the armory. What is that? Gain five life per attack. It's a wooden club that is certainly better than the wooden club that we are currently using. Absolutely. So, yeah, whenever we can, we're gonna buy that. Because we have money galore. That's not one of our problems at all. Quick check. Who are you? You're bad. 444. No. 426. No. No. Yeah, okay. So these are just like stupid rookie dudes which we don't care about at all. Gotcha. Why is my larder full again? I thought I had some open spots. Really? Like, what is all of this? Why is it weird? Why is it weird like that? Fair trade. Huh. Okay. Once again, gonna take it. Because I don't want to lose it. Although I am saying that I have a lot of money, let's not let anything get to waste. Alright. Anything else we want to do? We can probably try another breed. You're not bad. You have the stats, buddy. Hard-headed. I want the ferocious and lucky combo. Come on. Plus massive stats. Alright. 
Who are you? Um, you are ferocious. And you're lucky. You have high mind. Hmm. Hmm, I don't really care about your spirit too much. Just a bit of armor that we would get if we get to seven, but hey. You could be a nice raider. This better suits their temperament. I like it. Yeah. You could be also an amazing hunter. With the power up and the and the crit chance and everything. Alright, but <laughs> we cannot take you because we're full again. Or did we just take you? No, we did not. Who are you? 775. Also not too bad. Um but you got Beast Avert and Flabby and Spirited. So you would be a ferocious spirited guy, 777. It's not bad. Oh. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Oh, you are really good, Pike Snora. The power and the spirit. It's good. Okay, we, we have a new contender. We need to upgrade the barracks. Or can we can we just build another barracks? Wait. I cannot build another barracks. It's a shame. So what are we doing now? We're gonna go to the barracks and we're gonna get some of our friends just out of here. Pest sitter. Ferocious beast avert. Fit religious. I think I'm gonna retire you, my friend. You know what? Yeah, I'm gonna retire you because I wanna keep you. And... Anybody else? Anybody else who is not currently one of my active crew members? The answer is no. <laughs> All of them are rookies. No! Ah, oh, come on. Slurbuster. An alert brute with a pretty bad stat line. Get you out of here. Okay. All right, all right, all right. So I want you, my friend. Um, you probably want to be a shaman, right? Actually, I'm not gonna give you any class yet because you could also be an amazing acolyte. All right, get you in there. It's amazing. And then I, I th think you are also pretty okay. Seven 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 plus three power. That's all right. Get you in there, buddy. And these are just like replacements for later. Okay, stop that. Good guys. In we go again. Uh, we would, yeah, we would go for another adventure. Gonna pick the weapon that we just bought, which is this one here. Beautiful. We still need a better sword for my for my raider. That thing is still a little bit outdated. Is there anything here? Anything that's just better? No. This is low power. It has the slots, but it's lower power. Eight power, one armor. I don't care. This is seven power, two armor. We're fine. We're good. Let's go. All right. Where do we go? Quick check. Yeah, it's a crap ton of wood here. <laughs> So if you really want to get everything upgraded, there's probably a lot of farming included. And I don't know if I want to do that necessarily. There are no scourges here, huh? Or are they? Wait, do I have to play these things multiple times in order to unlock the scourge? People said I should do it. I should go back to things that I have already visited. Shibalands gives us wood. Fair narrows gives us ore and wood. That's pretty good. We should try that, right? This is stuff that I want to upgrade the uh, armory, and this is stuff that I want to get a guild going. All right, let's do it. Let's try it out. Maybe, maybe a scourge is popping up after we have taken another look at this map. Why not? Should have checked the targets there. The potential the of the forest monsters that we can find. Alright, each party member gains two life when they attack. I love it. Yeah, life gain is pretty good. Where to go? I, 
guess it's Guru. Yeah. I want to see the upgrades on the on the bandit. On the bandit skill. Let's go. The old Guru has much to teach. Okay, Ferocious Cleave. Um... Oh, the forefront three foes? That makes this so much more appealing. Yes. An One extra target is really nice. Scold. Give an ally fury or give an ally fury and 30% of your weapon's power. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. Yes. And we got purify. Remove status effects. If target is an ally, give it 40% to all resistances for 10 time ticks. That's pretty good. That's pretty good, man. This is... A bit more damage if the enemies has a, have a status effect. It's not that exciting. This is just more raw damage. We'll take this. Okay. Thank you, Guru, for your wisdom. Come on. Five and wood. Yes! Yes! It's not the most here, but hey, I'll take it. Now we need to make a decision. That's... Uh, yeah, it's a pretty easy decision. I think I'm not gonna go to the shrine. What I want is treasure into shop, so that we can probably buy some materials as well. Let's go! Is the zombie? Ambush. Let's go! Alrighty then. You're so slow. <laughs> Let me go ahead and guard the raider. I think the raider is currently my my weakest guy. So let's go with that. Long shot? Long shot kills if we get one more damage out. So if we get a crit, I'm gonna just go for regular good old damage here. Two damage to the front line. We got the cleave, which could also crit. We have an 18% chance. I'll take it. Very nice. We got fury on you now. Love it. Get the first one out. He hit him so hard that he kicked him into another dimension. Nice. And that means that we can now kill zombie number B. Yeah, or actually A. It's good. This is working. Random blast is random. <laughs> Wanted to hit the back line, but hey. This is actually good. Yeah, just do nothing. I'll get you in time, no problem. Um, sure, let's try to rattle here. Resist, is he even stunnable? Probably not. Pong. What about the floating skull? Oh, this is actually getting a bit dicey here. <laughs> Okay. Down with you. We actually might be able to benefit from our fury. Get dirt face and scold. But you know, he's also gonna get his big bash attack with a 50% bonus. That's amazing. Let's go. And here's the kill. Perfect. Easy fight. I have the feeling, no matter what we do, all of the combos kind of work. I mean, all of them, I think if you only have tanks, then probably not. 20% chance to stun. Okay. 20% chance to stun. We put it on somebody who is always attacking, like... Like you. Yeah, you also have a multi-attack, so let's go with that. Okay. So, we go into the shop. We don't have the most amazing amount of money right now, but... I just want to see. There's another shop coming up, right? Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Fine wares. Yes. So, get rid of that, get rid of that. We have 255 to use. I want fiber, I want wood. Everything else, I don't care. Trade it in. Just what's needed. Oh wait, we have 50 more. 
we're gonna hold. We're gonna hold onto our our money because there is another shop coming. So let's uh, let's wait. <laughs> sure, <laughs> I'll take it. I'll take it with me. It's fine. Whoa! What are you a dire wolf? <laughs> New enemy type. You are a dire wolf, right? Yeah, you got the spikes and everything. <laughs> All right, you deal 14 damage as well. You got 75 health. All right, here is the challenge I was looking for. You also got some pretty good resistances. Oh. All right. We need armor. We need armor and we need, I guess, a dunk trap. Good. Scold. Who wants to get some fury? Playing against beasts. So let's give it to our friend, the hunter. Swift mend, sacred shield. All right then. Keep him alive at all costs. All right, here's the raider. Sudden strike for the haste, maybe? Oh yeah. And we get the trap off 34 damage. Wait. That took away the fury, because it was an instance of damage coming from our hunter. Oh, interesting. Okay, you know what? That's pretty good, I guess. I like it. Okay. Put on a guard. Soul Gale. Oh, the damage, let's go. And I think we got a knockback. 14. Oh, that hurts. It hurts so much. Pick wounds, wakey wakey. Just a slash. I want to get this guy out. Yeah. Excellent strike. That's pretty good. Another dunk trap. I mean, devious shot kills, right? Let's go. All right, one dire wolf down. You know what? I think I need to actually heal a little bit. Uh, the shield is fantastic. Good. So we absorb that. 24. Can we deal 24 damage? Not right away. Battle cry. Let's go with the battle cry then. Because I guess the others could benefit from what we are doing here. Wakey, wakey. Could kill if we crit. Didn't. Did not. But rattle will. Perfect. Okay. Oh, I didn't, I didn't check my bash if it had enough damage. I just was looking at the, the perfect kill here. Swift mend. Yes, thank you. I'll take it. is perfect. All right, it gives us a lot of time here. Healing chant to get Slap Molter up and running a bit. Uh, but the blast is just so much more damage. Let's end this. Let's just get out of here. You got another Swift Man, though. Um, I mean, mean. Can we not kill you? Let's see. Go for the swift mend. Thank you. And then... Do whatever. Bludgeon. Nice. Yeah, that was good ordering. Vile cretins. I like it. I like that we see new enemy types here. It makes the game more interesting, makes the game harder. Uh, it's actually what I'm here for. Let's go. So another tough fight, another harvest. What are you? A zombo? Yeah, he's looking away right now. Okay. Give it a second. Now we go in. No ambush. All right. Once more into the breach. Just armor up. Interesting. 
I think we go for the kill shot on the skull directly. Having one target out is just good. Battle cry, cleave, definitely the cleave. Nice. He should have also gotten. Oh, wait, he is at max health. Oh, all right then. Um, bludgeon, I guess. It's good damage. Actually, I, I did have the swift man, right? It was a one tick, six damage attack that I could have put on the on the zombos here. I've gotta think about my action economy on the on the acolyte a bit more, because he can actually damage undead. Blast has a good chance to kill a guy, so we go for it. Yep. Whoa! Oh no! Um... Yep! Make sure that my radar is safe! Ah, you did the wrong thing! 10 damage! Alright! Dunk trap? Could be good here. Ah, uh, but this is a kill! So we take the kill whenever we can, right? Here's the intercept. Perfect. Sacred shield, purify. Uh, I think we're just gonna kill these fools now. Yeah. We have the healing chant, which we could get it. We could get off if we wanted to. But you know what? I don't think it's worth it. Let's just keep going. Actually? Push him back. That, that gives us time. Absolutely, so we can get the healing chant out. That's a nice thing that I didn't consider yet. The ability to buy time to get the heals out in the end. That's cool. Yeah, now we go for the kill. Okay. The taste so, the zombies taste. down, and we get a lot of wood here. Nice. And Patience a double harvest, bitter, even. But its fruit is sweet. Thank you. A oh. decent harvest. Helpful. Very helpful. Bit of valuables for the next shop. Which is coming up right now. A respectable haul. So, before we go for the shop, we're gonna quickly take a look at if we can find some valuables here. Like any hidden, hidden nothing now. Okay. That so what you got? You got more wood? Mine, mine. Huh. It's not enough. Eh. Do we need more fiber or do we need more wood? Technically, it's all of it. Fine. Trade. fine, 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 fine. Oh, wait. There's junk. Almost forgot it. Just what's needed. Perfect. So, we got all of our desires met. Okay, so, from here on out, we go fight, tough fight, harvest into... Well, I guess it's the bad shrine. Or if we can go up again, um, there's another tough fight with the harvest. Dire wolf. Let's see what they can do to us. Alright, here we go. Rattle intercept. Oh, yeah. 75 health is... Oh. Uh oh. Is actually... Is pretty substantial. Set up a trap. And then we want to try to give you fury, which we don't get. But let's go for the cleave. No trap. Okay. Heal you up again, buddy. Good block. How did you trigger the trap? Because you got affected by an ability and that triggers the trap? Or is that like an automatic thing as soon as you also take a turn? At the end of your turn, the trap will automatically trigger. Could it have been patched? I don't know. Um, we need to check this. Okay, we got the haste. Oh. 
this is, why is it electric? <laughs> okay, 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 okay. I could purify the stun, but you know what? I'm just gonna let it wear off. We might want to start a healing prayer. Maybe it's a bit too late for that now. Should I purify the bleed? Yes, I should. Oh god, 18 damage coming in from that. Let's do it. It's a good thing. Okay then. Um, we are hasted currently. Got the bleed out. 18 damage on the guy. Nice. So, if we get the Beast Bane arrow, which we did not, we could have killed, possibly. Well then... Nicely done. Nicely done. All going for my Raider and for my Bandit. So we got the Raider. And then we're gonna see where this is going. Pestilence. Seven damage to all. Seems valuable. The blast would be really nice if we hit the uh, the frontliner, then he would just bleed out. Huh. What's our blessing again? The life gain. It's difficult here. It's a decision. It's either pestilence to just get some raw damage in, or it's the blast. Let's go with the blast. Exceptional I'll take skill. it. I will take it. Thank you. Howl is good. Ish. Wakey wakey secures the kill here. A precise yep. assault. 16 damage! Oh no! Ah. Alright then. <laughs> My raider. He's so good. I just like the high crit chance. It makes a lot of sense, even though they have armor and the armor will deduct from each hit. It's just too good to have the double crit chance. Intercept is fantastic. It binds us a bit of time, so we can maybe get another heal out. At the same time, I should probably end this. 16 damage remaining. It's gonna act before my shaman. Let's end it. We have one foodstuffs, and we might get some meat out of this, so let's heal with food. Ugh, nothing. Was there just a, just a fight? Nothing else? No harvest? Oh, there was a regular battle. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay, then. Heal you up. So, we want to go for a tough battle. Period. Tough battle. Let's go. Cause it's harvest time. Kinda hope it's another... Another tree. It's a zombie. Good. Holy crap! And this is the tough battle? Honestly? These dire wolves, they are the tough ones here. Just a good old guard. Good old trap. Good old... Cleave? Why not? So we got rid of the immune. We triggered the trap. Which is kind of weird, because the first instance got rid of the shield of the Hinky Punk. And then the trap triggered. Which should have dealt damage to the Hinky Punk, but it still was technically guarded in that time zone. Uh, okay. So good. So, so good. So... We want the guaranteed kill, right? If we roll low, we have a problem. But maybe we don't. There's also always the chance for a crit, yeah. Good. Healing chant. Healed cover is the only one affected by... Damage right now. So no, we deal damage. Kills. Double kill, even. Ooh. And we get two health out of that. That's pretty good. Um, yeah, I'm gonna just armor up. So now a healing chant would be fantastic because we have a bunch of people who are slightly damaged. Injured. 
Heal yourself. Okay. Looking for the guaranteed kill. Absolutely. And then we're gonna end it once more. Can we get... We can get an intercept. Okay, so why not? Another swift mend coming up. Ferocious cleave. Huh. I'm gonna do it face you. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Buying even more time. So swift mend on... Who? Sorry. Eh. I think healed Carver got the most damage. He's missing seven. You're missing five. Okay, then. Congratulations. Since crit heals are a thing, we should probably also try to get a bit more crit on our support classes. Would be great. <laughs> Tough battle? Mm -hmm. I say no. Another double harvest. Love it. Can we actually get the Acolyte and the Bandit Guild? Both of them? That would be so good. Nice, thank you. Bit of junk. Ready for the taking. All right, so we go for the <laughs> what is it? Infected shrine, corrupted shrine. I don't know the if I want to interact with that. A strange gift. Four percent. What could go wrong? All right. Another one. With fell magic. Let's not chance it. It's fine. I think, I really think I should swap out my goblins more often and get more souls and everything, you know? Just bring in new people every now and then. But th th they are just working right now. That's A the thing. Of respite for the weary. That's the thing. Because with that, we can then also start a new cycle of power-ups on the shrines and so on. I don't dare going for another shrine with the squad that we have assembled right now. It, it doesn't feel good. It's super duper risky. And I don't know if we would also lose the souls if they die. That's the thing. Alright. Let's go for the boss. Who are you? A zombie. Well. I believe... I mean, it's a big zombie. But I believe... This is not a Scourge. Name is Rotmonger. 24 damage, though. Oy, oy, oy. So we keep the tank on the front line. That's for sure. Good old dunk trap. We got a stun out of that. <laughs> Pretty cool. Hmm. I want to try a thing. Let's go with the scold for Life Hunter. Because he has the wakey wakey and he could attack the second line, maybe killing it in one go. Set up a healing prayer? Swift men, somebody? I'm gonna go for the prayer. It might come in clutch at some point. Alright. Um, wakey wakey. 16 damage times 2 is a guaranteed kill on you, my friend. <laughs> Very good. It's good. Being able to take one guy out immediately is really, really nice. Okay. <laughs> Healing Chant, Soul Gale. Yeah, let's go ahead and try to trigger the trap. Excellent. Uh, things happened. <laughs> we got the Hinky Punk down, I think. Cool. Um, you know what? I think we end this now. Let's do it again with the with the bonus damage. That's all right. Get me to crit? No. It's just working. The the healing. What is it? Prayer? <laughs> it's not even coming through. What is going on here? Look at how strong we are. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I would say if I was in your position, huh? Oh my god. Um. 
Yeah, let's go with the rattle. I don't care if you resist the stun, you are dead. For real. Accept it. And then we go for a beautiful slash attack. It's fine. It is enough. The imposing creature is gone. Hopefully Good! Massive money! Dudes, we have enough for building a guild. That means we can take a look at a new skill set. And I am very excited to see what the bandit is able to do. Because I honestly like the class a bit more than the acolyte. However, if there is something interesting on the acolyte, I would instantly swap the healing prayer for another ability. Sadly, we cannot see it before Let's we build the guild. Alright, we're gonna go and start with looking at the merchant. Hello, my friend. Ooh, good shield. 20 life per kill. It's not a thing that we want in, on a shield, though. Hmm. Not really. Oh, okay. Um. Hold up, Ho hold up. One thing, um, if I go for the armory upgrade, do I have, I have enough. Schmonk. So now we have two armories at level three, and you guys said that I could combine them? I can! Huge armory. And it works! It actually increases, it stacks! Okay! Smithy weapon upgrade chance plus 18%. Ooh, that means we should probably build more. More of these uh, thingies. Okay, get all of this now. Thank you. Okay, that's pretty cool, man. I like it. So, get rid of the valuables real quick. Trade it in. An honest bargain. I'm actually happy that we made something worthwhile with our <laughs> resources that we're just lying around. Okay, so, we have an armory. Tier 2. Tier 3. But double. Wonder if we can even make it bigger. But yeah, this is not what I wanted. I wanted to go for a... Well, we can build another armory. And bigger quarters and so on. I wanna build a guild. Let's build the bandits guild. There we go. Another larder would be also very good. But hey, check out the bandits. Here we go. In order to upgrade, we need wood and fiber. That's okay. We would get more max life. I really don't care about max life so much. I mean, it's good to have, but it just keeps you alive. I think I have enough healing and, and tanking capabilities right now to bypass that need. All right, we check out the abilities. What do we get here? Motivate. Pull an ally to the front and give it fury. It loses six life. pretty good the six live of it all is a bit of a problem but it's not a bad thing getting an instant big attack out on the guy that we want the attack uh, out of is really nice fall back knock an ally ally back by three and give it fury not a thing I would probably utilize a lot final strike deal 30% power to all all foes if any die all allies gain Inspire. That's fantastic. That is really good! Because it, it takes away the, the time cost of um, all of our abilities by one. And then Payback. Deal your missing life as... Oh, I see where you're going with that. Deal your missing life as damage. As physical damage. All right, so you want to have a high health pool, you want to take a little bit of damage, and then you want to retaliate. Okay. This is interesting. Certainly is. Also, does power apply to it? Probably not, right? Because it's just your life there. The other things say 30% of like, like power and so on. Okay. This is super interesting, but I want to keep my souls together a little bit because I want to upgrade my, my lair a little bit more. And we need 35 souls. In order to be able to build another guild, we need to get that done. And I also want to take a look at the Acolytes Guild. Ha! Alright. 
So, anything else we want to do here? We're going to quickly Only check our prospects. Bad. Bad. Really bad. Garbage. And, eh, but not great. <laughs> okay, guys, I would say that concludes our uh, today's episode of Goblin Stone, the turn-based tactical roguelite RPG. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to leave a rating, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I hope to see you next time. Goodbye.